Hi everybody, the purpose of this video is to show you how to put halves, fourths, and eighths on a number line. So let's talk about um, halves, fourths, and eighths in terms of a circular shape, maybe like a pie or a pizza. And we're going to look at some equivalent fractions before we get started with the number line. All right, so here we have one whole pizza. And if I wanted to cut the pie in half, I would go right down the middle here. Now let's say that my friends and I ate half of the pie. That would be this part right here that I'm highlighting. All right, so how many fourths would be equivalent to one half? Well, here's the same pie. I'm going to cut it down here right in the middle. And then I'm going to fill in the half just like I did. But this time, instead, it's broken up into fourths. So you can see there are one, two fourths. So one half equals two fourths. All right, so now let's look at the eighths. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to get my highlighter and I'm going to cut my pizza in half and I'm going to figure out how many eighths make up this half. Go ahead and count. One, two, three, four. All right, so four eighths equals one half. All right, so now let's look at the fourths. Let's say I decide to cut my pizza into fourths instead of halves this time. And I'm going to color it purple. Okay, so here is one fourth. It's kind of like a bluish color this time. So now on my second pizza, I want to color in the same amount, but this time this pizza is broken up into eight slices, eight pieces. But I'm drawing the same shape. So here we go. One eighth, two eighths is the same size as one fourth. So and you guys should be pretty familiar with this because this is what we worked on last week with equivalent fractions. So one fourth equals two eighths. So keep that in mind as we're working um, with halves, fourths, and eighths. All right, so now let's look at a number line. Here's a rectangle. I have it split into two pieces. And here's a number line. So if I wanted to split my number line in half, I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the rectangle. I'm going to draw a line halfway in the middle of my number line. So if I had one half of the rectangle, I would color in one out of the two pieces. So this half is purple. This half of this line equals one half. So right here, this mark is one half on the number line. All right, and this mark, which is a whole, is two halves. And I can color that with a different color. So let's say this half, oh, wait, I want to make it a different color. Let's go yellow. All right, so this half is going to be yellow. So let me make this half yellow as well. So I've got half that's yellow, half that's purple. When I put them together, it equals one whole. All right, let's look at fourths. Okay, so now I've got a rectangle broken up into four equal pieces. So how many pieces am I going to break my number line into? Well, if you said four, you're right. So let me color in the corresponding fourths. So here's one fourth. Here's one fourth. Now green for the next fourth and green for the next fourth of the line. Blue for the next fourth, so now I've colored in three out of the four pieces, three fourths. And then we'll do purple for the last one. So this is the last fourth. All right, now let's label it. Let's write with our pen and let's label. So it's broken up into four equal pieces, so my denominator is gonna be four. And this is one out of the four, so that's one fourth. This is two out of the four, so this is two fourths. And this one is three out of four, so that's three fourths. And this one is a whole, which is all four pieces out of four. 
All right, so let's take a look over at eighths. Same thing here, I've got a rectangle. Broke it up into eight equal pieces. I want to do the same for the number line. So I've got eight equal pieces on my number line. So let's color code these like we did with the last one. Uh, let's start with yellow. So here's one eighth. Here's another eighth. Here's a third eighth. All right, there's a fourth piece, four eighths. Let's start back over with yellow. Five eighths. Six eighths. Seven eighths. And eight eighths. So let's label it with our pen. So here we have one eighth. Here's two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, and then eight eighths, which also equals number one, one whole. All right, so my number line is broken down according to how many uh, the, how many spaces I need according to the denominator. So this is eight, so I break it into eight pieces. And then the numerator tells me how many pieces out of the eight, how far I've gone on the number line. So let's put it all together. Um, I've got a number line here, and it's broken up into eight equal pieces. Now because two is a factor of eight and four, that means that we can put fourths and halves on the same number line with the eighths. So let's start with one eighth. We're gonna be looking just at unit fractions on this screen. And those are all the, the units, the one half, one fourth, one eighth, all those. So one eighth is just one piece out of the eight. So that's one eighth. Now, one-fourth, we got to think back to what we said about how many eighths equaled one-fourth. All right, so let's look. This is broken up into eight. I know that I can multiply the four by a two, and that will give me eight. So that means that I've got to do the same thing to the numerator. So one times two equals two. So that means I'm going to be coloring in two-eighths to equal one fourth. All right, let's do this one green. So one, two. Now, since it's a number line, I have to start back at zero to do one fourth. So I'm gonna color on top of this. So that's one and that's two eighths. So that means that one fourth is right here on the number line. And that makes sense because if I continued to count this piece is one fourth. This piece right here would be two fourths. These next two would be three fourths. And then the last one would be four fourths, broken up into four pieces. So now let's take a look at halves. I still have it broken up into um, eight pieces, but I know that there is a number that I can multiply the two by that will give me eight. What can I times the two by to give me eight? Well, two times four equals eight. So that means I gotta do that to my numerator. One times four equals four. So that means that four eighths equals one half. So let's highlight that. Let's get blue. So one, two, three, four. That equals one half. Makes sense because there should be another four on the other side. One, two, three, four, and there is. So it makes sense that this is one half. And you can see when I color in the rectangles that the size matches. So here's my four eighths. So one half is the bigger fraction, one fourth is in the middle, and one eighth is the smallest. So they're in order by size according to the rectangle and in order on the number line, one eighth, one fourth, and then one half. 
All right, so let's try and put it together with some fractions that are not unit fractions. I've got two-fourths, three-fourths, three-eighths, six-eighths, and four-eighths. Well, let's start with the eighths because the number line's already broken up into eighths, so I just need to count one, two, three. So that's where three-eighths is going to go. All right, and then four would be the next one. <coughs> and then five, six-eighths would be right here. All right, now I know I'm going to have to pull my page down so I can fit some of these. So two-fourths. All right, well, if I'm looking at my number line broken up into four pieces instead of eight, that would mean I would have two pieces. So I would cut here, I would cut it here, and I would cut it here. And then you can see I have one, two, three, four pieces. So that means that two-fourths goes right here with four-eighths because they're equivalent fractions. And then three-fourths is going to go right here. So that means that three-fourths and six-eighths are equivalent. Two-fourths, four-eighths, and one-half are equivalent. All right, so tonight I'm going to have you guys go through some other practice um, problems on Ed Canvas to practice putting numbers on the number line. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.